Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It's JT, and welcome back for those that are joining me on this series, webinars on air. You've created your account, and so now we're in your back office at your dashboard. And let's just go through each of the settings. The video training um, videos, I do suggest you look at those. Um, that was excellent as far as giving you um, what to do and how to set up your profile in integrating your systems. So we'll just look at your settings and, um, oh, let's see, let me sign in. I didn't realize it will log you out. Um, I guess many of the um, platforms now will automatically log you out after inactivity. Okay, so now we're going to go in our setting and you can go ahead and create your default setting. So unless you give a, if you get into a habit of giving a series of webinars, unless you want to tweak um, your payment offers or, you know, an ad offers or update your integrations, these will be the settings that will be applied to each webinar that you host. So the first one, I suggest you leave your gateway at none. That way it'll leave you the option to um, create different um, offers. If you were to select PayPal, then um, that would be it for your default. Each time you'd have to come back and adjust it. So I suggest you leave it at none to um, accommodate free webinars, and then also webinars that where there's a paid offer. And then next, under your stored offers, you can place various offers that you want to offer, both free and paid. As you can see, I have a, a free one where I want you to just actually get on my mailing list. And at any time, ladies and gentlemen, you can always go ahead and preview that offer, edit it, or delete it. So to just preview the offer, I've already uploaded it just to show you what it looks like. Basically, on the side of the webinar, this will sh show up. Academy Updates, You Matter 50 Plus Entrepreneurs Academy. And then if they want to get the updates, they'll just select the button. And it's really easy how you go through and create. We'll create an offer before this series is over. And lastly, your integration. You want to make sure that you add your autoresponder. And if you're in MLSP with me, you can go ahead and uh, add your auto, your free autoresponder here or your, if you have AWeber or GetResponse. And so I want to thank you for watching, and on the next video, we'll go through some of the various trainings that is also offered here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.